Today in this press conference will be uh, Chief Felix Salceda, and there's several representatives from several agencies, our mayor, Trey Mendez, and several commissioners here. Uh, Chief Salceda will be up here, make a brief statement, and he'll take a couple of questions. Uh, so right now, we're gonna go ahead and escort him in, and just give us one minute. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. your name, spell it, and then your title. We'll, 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 I'll get that spelling to you guys. Well, good morning, and thank each and every one of you all for being here today this morning. Uh, we really appreciate you all's presence. Um, and I am here as Chief of Police for the Brownsville Police Department, Felix, F-E-L-I-X, Salceda, S-A-U-C-E-D-A, Brownsville, Texas. And I'm here to deliver a brief on the tragic event that took place within our city yesterday. Since the investigation is ongoing, our objective is to provide you a better understanding about what occurred as we currently understand it. Yesterday morning at 8.29 a.m., we received multiple calls for service in regards to a major crash on the 600 block of Minnesota Road. Upon arrival, officers found multiple casualties and several injured. Officers also found a gray SUV with heavy damage and a driver on scene. Through the investigation, it was found that the SUV ran a red light, lost control, up on its sight, and struck a total of 18 individuals. It was further found that there were six fatalities on scene and were critically injured. From then and now, fatalities have grown to eight. The investigation also revealed that the driver of the vehicle later identified as George Alvarez, November 9, 1988, attempted to flee the scene after impact, but was held out by several individuals on scene. The investigation also revealed that the driver of the vehicle Alvarez is a local with an extensive rap sheet. He has been fully charged in with eight counts of manslaughter, ten counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He has received bonds total $3.6 million, and we have a picture and record of his previous arrest. We will display to you right now. I want to thank my men and women serving who have worked and continue to process the very tragic scene. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge our Brownsville Fire Department for attending critically injured. Our district attorney, Mr. Science, our Federal Bureau of Investigation, Officer Rich, the San Antonio Division, Mark Keen, ACE, San Antonio Division, Chris Calone, RD for DPS, and most other agencies that are unwavering assistance throughout the tragic event. I'd also like to thank multiple individuals who have reached out and supported us with our city leaders, city manager, county judge, state Aaron Gott, Jamie Lopez, Senator Lopez, Governor Cornyn, and Governor Greg, Greg, Greg. Council is a proud resilience. We will continue to best serve our community as we more continue our investigation. Work with our network of supporters to ensure reunification efforts assistance is available to all effect. We have much contact with people and officials and will continue to work with them. Thank you. Questions? From Oklahoma. Uh, we are waiting on formal uh, reports. Uh, no. 
witnesses that say is cursing at saying that they were cursed. We have to validate that point. Someone said the city has a lot of uh, sidewalk streets now. What does the city do with them and say this like the city of So the process is for that. This press conference is for the city that we are investigating. Chief Nicholas, CNN, how able to rule this was intentional. Sounds like you lost control. We have not ruled out, sir, an ongoing investigation. Este, lo, las, las ofertas y las ofertas que se llevaron esta mañana, las tiene con él, que se las puede. Chief, two questions, just quickly. Any additional charges or talk about how you there? So, I'm going in investigation, and yes, we'll be charged change and charge to be at. Rain today. That is can I just ask about this? Can you talk about the process of seeing those? Have you identified the nationality on it? It has been a very interesting process, one that we are committed to and accomplish. We are working on Venezuela right now, and we have reached out to our Good. Where is he kept right now? And is any special or anything like Again, conference is a tragedy that we need to invest. Two more questions. Sir, go ahead. Chief, two questions. A question of the extent of injuries you can let us know. Some in person who are missing limbs and so forth. And the following is can people help you if they have how what are we absolutely are very people in and tally at this and we continue to uh, have a uh, few realities for the public and all those any statements all where it is that you can help us bring and bring this nation uh, to a uh, point and reach out to uh, we have a of us social media form and so to us. At this point confirmed all men uh up and beyond that away from us. Thank you also for being uh charging I have a there in the back that familiar with us in email and email with this uh, email with 